Thank you very much. Um, I'm Fernando, I'm co-founder and CTO of Noworis. Noworis is a, a, a distributed ecosystem, um, uh, cybersecurity. And I'm gonna follow you very quickly through where, why we are today with this big problem. And it's massive, you know, really massive. A, a lot of people don't realize how bad it is. So, um, I don't go further back than this one, but this man changed a lot, uh, a lot especially for security, okay? He created a new ecosystem where every single one of you can start to create new stuff and get millions of people start to use and put in their data there, you know, on the app. So a, a big ecosystem that he created. Between 2007 to uh, 2010, uh, other people start to catch up, Android, etc., Samsung, and then he came back with iPad again, increased tremendously uh, by that time, you know? Uh, and now we're exposing a lot more, not just about what you do on a single day basis with your phone, but now at work with iPads and so on. Then uh, Cloud First Strategies um, became a mainstream in 2011. Um, and now not only we're giving to all of you the capacity to, hey, let's create new stuff, yeah? But now put it all on the cloud, yeah? Wonderful, wonderful have for people who want to do attacks, yeah? Absolutely fascinating for them. Um, then mobile first was a strategy came as well in 2011. And this, what it created was a very well connected world where, you know, ev we are connecting everything, yeah? Um, but this is the game changer. Now we connecting everything that we interact in the world. Just think about that for a minute, what that means. Bring your fridge, your kettle, doesn't matter, yeah? Um, for security, this brings a completely different problem. There's no standards for IoT, si cybersecurity in IoT. Everybody's doing their own thing, okay? Um, and some good friends told me a while back that, you know, at the moment everything is hackable and it's true. So, massive problem, yeah? Uh, Everything is a single point of failure at the moment, yeah? Um, everybody's centralizing everything still. Centralization of data, processing, doesn't matter. Centralization is single points of failure, yeah? That's the, the weakest point today. Um, second, um, hackers live on a network on average in the US about 100 days without being detected. Very, very difficult, yeah? I can guarantee you in this room someone will have a hacker on their network already, okay? In Europe, it's 185 days before you detect an hacker. That's an average. And these are very, very, <laughs> in, my, in my opinion, the estimations are quite higher than that, yeah? Um, then, you know, the problem today as well is that, you know, uh, when you have audits, the auditors come to your company and, you know, they choose like randomly five devices. You might have a thousand servers, for example, but they choose five. They'll go through all the checks, do the ISO 27001, whatever. They follow through their process. In the end, you pass, pass the audit, yeah? You could have 995 servers infected. So there's no way to actually do audits, proper audits on IT environments. And that's a massive problem today. Also, there's other problems within this, you know, uh, around s between 65, 70% of the hacks come from third parties. You can't do everything in your company, yeah? So, it is the travel system, it is whatever, you know, an entry point for them, yeah? Um, so, same approach for 35 years, believe it or not. Trying to protect the end point, it's a lost war. By the time we find something, they already been using this for uh, 100 days, 185 days. It's like, you know, when you, when you have a disease, yeah? You go to a doctor and say, hey, I'm sick, yeah? I have some virus. The doctor needs to know first what the virus is before it gives you a, a medicine or an injection. And that's the problem today in cyber security. Every single company needs to know what something is before they actually have an action, yeah? There's no other way. Um, so, the, uh, it's, it's a big problem. Uh, Three trillion dollars we're losing every year. So organizations spend, governments spend three trillion dollars a year in uh, fixing the problems, yeah? So, really massive problem. Um, someone spoke about Equifax, but there's a lot more, you know? 
all of these. And recently, Binance, last week, yeah? Massive, and you know, I can't tell you. I, I, I see things that are unbelievable, to be truly honest. But the biggest prize so far was these guys, yeah? 1.5 trillion US dollars lost in IP, yeah? You can do the research. I don't like to talk about who did it, but there's plenty of speculation. Pentagon, an audit on Pentagon weapons in uh, October 2018 found that the password was password in a lot of systems. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, yeah? <laughs> and something else as well, uh, travel records, uh, uh, like I said, to third party systems, I think it was about 30,000 people, um, uh, personal details. And there's some conversation around biometrics as well. J just imagine what that means, you know. Whoever has access that knows, you know, every single employee, well, 30,000 employees of the Pentagon. And that's a ma major risk for any security. <laughs> yeah. um, this is quite slow, sorry. It's not working well. So. Future cyber attacks. I'm just giving you an example. Smart farms. Yeah, we are connecting everything. Everything. So, um, driverless tactics, seed implanting, drones, whatever. Yeah. And this for me, it's, it really is a problem, you know, <laughs> massive. Because you can have a crazy hacker one day. I guarantee you that. He will hack, or a nation state, yeah, will hack a, a manufacturer of, of those farming robots. And now we're talking about famine. We're talking about attacks on nations and destroying entire crops of a nation. Now we're talking about the food on your plate, the food in my plate, yeah? Uh, this is just a small little example. I'm not even going to talk about other things around electric grids and nuclear power stations, whatever, you know? It is, cyber weapon is a bigger problem, you know? So common cyber attacks, phishing, malware, you know all of these, septal keys, ransomware attacks, you know, many, many ways and many vectors as well. And a lot of people think blockchain solves your problem. It does in terms of security, yeah? Oh, I put my stuff on blockchain, it's secure. Um, um, no, okay? There's a lot of issues that, you know, another... Other pro problems is, you know, there are endpoint vulnerabilities at the moment, okay? There's public and private security issues. There are weak algorithms, flawed algorithms, you know? There's only a few at the moment that are truly unhackable at, at the moment, you know. Uh, so SHA-256 has not been used by uh, the NSA, apparently, anymore. So you go figure. Uh, Bitcoin is double SHA, so it's a question of time, yeah? Um, remember this, uh, once you get to, let's say you have an algorithm, you know, everything is perfect, yeah? Uh, cryptography is the right thing. Uh, well, it started by using cryptographers instead of starting by using programmers to create blockchains, which is a big problem at the moment, you know? You still can compromise at source, yeah? You can, as well, um, compromise in transit. So now, whatever you put on your blockchain, you can end up with immutable garbage. You'll be making decisions based on something that you think it is right because everybody is telling you that, oh, it's immutable. Yeah, it doesn't wait to change. But you might have garbage because someone might be clever. Yeah? Um, so, I'm going to talk very quickly about what we're doing as at uh, um, Nowaris. So, I already said we're a distributed cybersecurity ecosystem. So, totally decentralized, totally dis uh, uh, distributed, and you need consensus from all devices on our ec ecosystem, on our platform, to actually do any action on the network, yeah? Uh, your devices are connected, uh, um, so you get audits in real time, even throughout all your supply chains, through side chains that we've created, and we use uh, Swarm Intelligence AI, yeah? And this gives us another strength on top of what we're doing with blockchain. So, how we stop attackers? Um, uh, we don't try to protect the endpoint, we're stopping them from jumping to the next device, because 99.99% of the times that's when they get value. You know, it's a target attack, they go across the network, they, they already know what they want or they're exploring. So we basically take a, a, a baseline of a uh, health status of a device, uh, many different things we look at, uh, BIOS updates, uh, 
kernel, operating system, application layer, code injections, whatever, our own rules, your rules, and we take a hash of that at a point in time. Yeah? We take that and every second from every single device that you connect. And that hash goes to our blockchain, gets distributed. Um, when an attacker compromises uh, your device, and when I say by compromising is we look just for integrity. And integrity is mathematically perfect, one and zero, true or false. You can't mess around with that, yeah? So once the integrity is, is, is compromised, yeah, the next hash is different. Uh, there's no more consensus on our blockchain that your device is still healthy, and then three things can happen. On very critical environments, military, intelligence agencies, banks with their uh, you know, um, very critical <laughs> payment systems, systems uh, the, the device is just basically taken out of the network straight away. You stop in less than a second versus 100 days. Yeah, still detected. Um, we have a hot oiling process where we revert the previous known health status of the device back to your device. You know, you want to continue to work, so your IT department will be informed, of course. You will not, you will know that you've been hacked, you know. So the IT department will look at dashboards, et cetera, et cetera, yeah. And on the cloud, high availability environments, we, we basically take down the compromised server, bring in the standby server on. This is how we, this is the first line of defense. So by doing this now, for somebody to actually compromise your device, they have to compromise your device every single device on your network, or if you are on our blockchain, because you can have it your own blockchain separately and connect it as a, uh, uh, as a side chain even if you want, um, then you have to compromise every single device. Could be potentially millions and billions eventually. That's where we want to get, yeah? At the same millisecond, just to subvert your own device. Mathematically today, that's not possible, okay? Uh, so we thought, what about if somebody has quantum computing? So we sign in the blocks with quantum encryption. So we quantum proof as well, yeah? Of course, we can only not verify that. We don't have a quantum computer, but we're using the, the, uh, the mathematics of uh, quantum encryption, yeah? Um, we didn't stop there. So very quickly, unique capabilities. We're the only, I can tell you today that we're the only company that can detect cyber weapons. FUDs, nobody can do that today, okay? If they tell you they can, they can't. And this is the biggest problem, because F, uh, FUDs are a variation of a zero-day malware. Many of you probably know what I'm talking about, yeah? So we can even look at data loss of prevention, you know, the action of somebody copying data to USB drive, uploading to a website, FTP, you know, that gets validated by the entire blockchain. Can Fernando copy data to this USB drive? No, you can even go down, you can put your own rules. Fernando can copy data to a USB drive on Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning. You put that rule, that rule has to be validated by the entire blockchain. So it, we're stopping data ex exfiltration, which is one of the biggest problems. So Orm AI, uh, we distributed our AI. Uh, so every agent uh, has a, a, a small version of the AI. And I don't, I don't want to go very much into it, but Swarm Intelligence is a great concept. So uh, we thought maybe somebody tries to compromise transactions, maybe at node level, local level. So we decided, you know what, let's distribute the AI as well. And now if somebody's trying, for example, this is just a, a simple example. There's a lot more that we do. If somebody trying to compromise a node, uh, you know, the, the, all the devices in the ecosystem locally where they are, they are all sharing information between what's happening on device and on the network. And remember, it's a hash key that identifies the device. It could be a tank from NATO, which is one of our customers, um, or it could be uh, someone in China, yeah? Or in Africa with a mobile phone. We don't care. So they share the information. As soon as they, uh, there is a threat, they, as a collective intelligence, without going to any central AI, because central AIs can be hacked, I can hack the endpoints and feed the data that I want to those endpoints so I'm in control of the AI, yeah? That's why we're distributing the AI as well. So um, uh, we, we went to the, to the point where, you know, those uh, um, distributed uh, AIs that are on all of those devices locally can detect if, the, if there is an attack on a node, for example, and change the transactions that are happening around that node to be validated, for example, on the moon, yeah? If there is a node there. So very quickly, we do use depots. We don't have a 51% attack. Um, side chains, 
This is a gentleman, <laughs> unfortunately he was on our board, he died a couple of weeks ago. He used to be chairman of intelligence of NATO. Um, great guy, introduced to a lot of people. Blockchain is really about, you know, use cases. You heard all of it, you know. It's about getting involved, you know, support the great products out there, yeah? Um, we're talking about STO. We're doing an STO. We started last week. Uh, we talk with private investors at the moment. I do, do believe it's the future as well. We're doing with LDX the first uh, um, uh, exchange to be authorized by the FCA in London to do revenue share token, yeah? So I welcome, if you want, please uh, drop an, uh, an email to us if you want to know more about STO and get involved in uh, supporting this great product. I really believe this is one of the best use cases that you can use uh, 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 using blockchain and, and AI, okay? Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank you for that.